Hey guys, these are some Cisco 3850s. They are layer three switches. They have the layer three capability. They also have the ability to stack. And right off the bat, we can tell that at least two of these switches are stacked based on the active light and the blinking active light. So let's talk about these system LED lights real quick. We have stat, duplex, speed, stack, PoE, system, active, XPS and S power. So you also know that there's a mode button up here and we can just toggle through these and they will do different things on the switches. So let's toggle over to stack first and let's explain this. So you notice port one started blinking and port two started blinking. So what does this mean? Well this is switch one in the stack. This is switch two in the stack. Three, four, five, six, seven, and you notice there's no light on switch 8 so this is not part of the stack it's also not plugged in so these lights have about a 20 to 30 second timeout so here in just a second you're gonna see it jump back to stat up oh, there it goes and now let's cycle over to POE let's see what we get alright we notice there's two amber lights so let's explain this so the amber light means that there's either a PoE fault or PoE is denied on the port. So since nothing's plugged in, I'm going to assume they've denied PoE on these two ports. So let's cycle back to stat and let's come down here to these two switches right here. So let's explain the active light and the blinking active light. The solid active light means that switch is the master for the switch stack. And the blinking active light means it's the switch standby for the stack. If you were to console into one of these switches and run show switch detail, it would tell you which switch was the master and which switch was the standby. It would also show you the rest of the switches and the stack. So I believe the default priority for a switch is one. So if all these switches were to reload and you had not set any priorities, then they're all fine to be the master switch, which could be problematic. and they may not come up in a nice order like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It may come up as 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7 or something like that. So if the customer asks you to go replace switch 3, make sure you replace switch 3 and not switch 4. Over here we have our network modules. You'll see Cisco 3850 network module blank. And this one up here is a has four 10 gig slots and this is our SFP where your fiber would go and just to show you not all network modules are the same some of them can be split into 1 gig and two 10 gig ports so here's a network module with two 10 gig ports so these are just some quick and easy troubleshooting steps you can do while you're on site and definitely make good use of the mode button as it's very helpful hope this helps